no no show <laughs> so this almagest is gonna be it when he gets it off There it is. All right. So getting hit with the dispel was a um, that was a that was a tough that was a tough blow to take. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, getting hit with dispel is uh, that's a that's a punch in the knuckle. That I was not uh, that wasn't part of my plan before. Unfortunately, the dispel and then having it follow up um, immediately with dispel was too bad because because uh, Ferris was the only target. If um, if it had cast dispel after I started reviving people. Uh, that would have been more helpful because it, it, they would have give, had another target besides Ferris. But I don't know if that's automatic. If it's um, if that's it's default thing that it, that it casts Almagest and then the next piece casts Dispel right afterwards no matter what? I don't know. I guess I don't know the answer to that. So I will see. I will try it again. I'm going to keep banging my head up against this uh, this game. And I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to go back out and grind, but I guess I will if I have to again. I feel like the strat is sound. It just needs I just need the right combination of things to happen. <laughs> like getting old to land more quickly would be nice. That would be a good start. Getting old to land earlier would be a great start to things. Okay, so dispel on that was just a was just a bad luck because because vacuum wave would be fine. I've got no problems with vacuum wave. Yeah, I guess I could, I could if I'm yeah if I'm planning on if I'm planning on charging or, or on on doing the uh, delta attack. I can get that out of the way here. Dual cast would be nice, but I, I don't know if necessary. I mean, maybe to revive two characters after um, after getting uh, all majest, you could revive two characters with one action. That would be a, a possibility. That's kind of what I was thinking. But um, but I'm a long way from that. Yeah, yeah, that's right. With my with my hit point totals, yes, I could be Cura, like a, yeah, like I heard from 
a chatter yesterday. Uh, Kira basically is Kiraga with me, with, with my hit points. Piddly little wind slash took it took him took him past. Alright, so here's to getting old to hit. And then um Then we'll see. Because if he can get old all the way down, maybe I can even get the Geomancer to survive um the Almagest. I can get two characters to survive. Which would be fine. She still could get taken out with a vacuum wave, but um, getting two characters to survive that would be good. Yeah, the tree is tree is fine. I'm able to handle the tree pretty easily. Alright, let's get it. Still nothing. I got it the very first time on the on my first fight with him, and then I have not seen it once since. What's the deal with that? Come on now. Come on now. I like the, that RNG can only show you. And boy, oh boy, is that true today. My goodness. And a straight up miss. That's great to see. That's great to see. And there's Dispel. Right away, Dispel. I didn't get the vacuum wave. That's really too bad. That's really too bad. And look at the mess I get from this Grand Cross. Look at the mess I get from that. Wow. Wow is all I can say about this. Look at the mess I get from Grand Cross. Oh, man. What? What a crime. What a crime that is. Oh, oh, man. What a mess from Grand Cross. Oh, my God. 
That was something else. That was something else. Get Dispel right there. And then that awful Grand Cross. I mean, amazing Grand Cross. <laughs> yes, I know. The one thing I have... I didn't even get another uh, action there. I didn't get it a, a chance to do anything. Just plunked her right down. Plunked her right down. Yeah, I forgot about this spell being so um being so common. That really is too bad. I did not um I did not plan for dispel trolling me so badly. But it certainly is. It certainly is. Uh, I think another couple of attempts here, and then I may, I may have to uh, back up and, and rethink. Because if I can't survive, um, if I can't keep shell on until uh, the second Grand Cross or the second uh, Almajet, that's gonna be tough. That's the magic lamp. Yeah, th and that's what I was... I was thinking that if, if I can get him... If I can take care of Almajet, uh, I can handle everything else. You know, a, a nasty Grand Cross, maybe, but, um, you know, even with a, with a ribbon-wearing character, even uh, a nasty Grand Cross would be okay. It wouldn't be so bad. I mean, and then there, there is always the option of putting dance on another character too. You know, I've, I've got I've got that choice also. Um, of just trying of trying to uh, trying to dance him down, but I feel like that would be yeah. Um. Yeah, but I could, you know, I could set up breaks. It wouldn't be, it wouldn't be too bad. I could set up break. Hmm. Alright, well, so for this for this round, I'll, I'll work through the magic lamp till I get to, uh, to Demon Eye. That'll be okay. Yeah, and break with the Wonder Rod would take a long time in battle. I guess. I wouldn't- I might not even survive 
to get uh, to get that long, and I really need Shell to get through the first Alma Jet. Unless I just I have to set up Brake before and hope to, hope to hit Brake on him, which is what I would probably yeah probably would have to do that. I don't know. Let me try going through my magic lamp. Cool. All right. All right. I'm going to create a different save state here, um, just in case I need to try some things. I'm not going to abuse it. I'm not going to abuse it um, to win, but I'm going to use it to try some setup things. All right? I need you to just observe that. I'm not going to abuse that save state, but I'm going to use it to uh, experiment. This is a practice save state. I'm going to still go legit with him, and I'm still going to um, get Reflection Golem on here. Oh, and did I get him anyway? Oh, I got him anyway from Golem. I got Aging to land, and then I got him anyway from Shote. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. I got him I got him with Shote. What a crazy world we live in. RN Jesus giveth. You got that right. Holy cow. Alright, now um let me get uh I think Golem is next, right? Yeah, Golem is Golem is next. Alright, so now I just have to, um... Get the other guys down evenly. And I was like, I guess I'll just use Wind Flash. Get the other guys down evenly. Oh, and he's just got... He's got Ganch. I'm scared... I'm scared of, um... I'm scared of this. Alright, Sword Dance on the back, and then I'll have to do Sword Dance on the front. There we go. Alright, I've got to land a sword dance on the front. And then I, I, I'm gonna try, I'm, I think I'm gonna stay away from, um... I'm gonna stay away from dancing after, after that. Cause, um... Yikes. I do have to land one on the front. But then once I land it on the front, I'm gonna just... I guess I'm just gonna have to have the dancer just defend and heal. Because I, I don't want to kill one piece too early. And I should've... I should've really put Gaia on the, uh... On the dancer, too. But it's too late for that. Alright, so now... Now I'm done, uh, dancing. All right, here's RN Jesus again. What's RN Jesus gonna do? What do I got? Stone Frog Dark.
How can I cast scan? I don't have a way to cast scan, do I? Is there a is there an item I have that casts scan? I don't even know what does what does scan. Oh, the white... Oh, yeah, just the straight up, uh... White spell. I never... I never used it. Yeah, so I didn't... I didn't even... I didn't even buy it. I didn't even buy it. No, I didn't even buy it. How's that for how's that for a bonehead move? Something so simple. Ha 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 face palm. <laughs> Didn't even buy it. Don't even bother. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do this um, thing where I have all my characters um, lined up for turns. So that if I get if I do get a guy at the land, I want everybody lined up. Or if I do get um if I do kill him on a on a wind flash, I want to be able to uh, to finish off the other piece with a. Hopefully, a well-timed dance. Hopefully, a good luck dance. The only thing I'm worried about is if he... If I... If I... Get a kill of one piece... Um... And then the other one gets to turn right away and does Alma Jet. That's the only thing I'm really worried about, is if I get a kill on one piece, and the other side says, fine, here's Alma Jet for you. Alright, uh, Zombie Dark Dark. Alright, that's actually not too bad. Oh, and Mute. Try to get everybody's bar full. I guess I, I guess I could do could could try that uh, alternating chicken knife attack. 
just scared. You know, I get scared. Because I've had runs knocked out like this before. I've had runs knocked out doing that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I, I do want to end this quickly. Come on, baby. We must be getting close. Ooh. Yeah, Berserk's not good. Berserk's not good. Berserk is not good. I might have to just take out Ferris. Because Berserk is going to, uh... Berserk's a bad one. Berserk's a bad one. Oh, next Wonder Rod is Izuna. Okay, all right. Bring it up. Actually, looks like she's all right. Oh, I meant to do it on, uh, not on him, not on Bart. Not on Bart. I meant to do it on these guys. Alright, that's going to leave just Kara left. I 
I think I'm hosed here. I wasted this, uh, I wasted this attempt. I wasted this attempt. I told, I think I'm, I'm hosed. I'm in, I'm in big trouble. I have no idea, but this is dangerous. This is bad news. This is bad news. I've got to get some damage going on him again. I've got to get some damage going on this thing again. Alright, there's a there's a piece down and I didn't get the chicken knife attack up. He's gonna he's gonna go nuclear. Oh uh, shoot, do I do an attack or a dance? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The one part's dead. Do I do an attack or a dance? I'm gonna YOLO it. I'm gonna dance. Yes! That should do it! Yes! 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 Boom! Oh my god! Oh my god! That was the wackiest, wildest, uh, excess fight I have had this whole summer. I've had some, I've had some, some good ones. That is, that is one for the books. I may, I even made those two, um, those two safety save states to, uh, to try to test some things out. I ended up not needing them. So now on my, on my, uh, VOD, <laughs> my VOD, I'm going to have these save states. Uh, no, Omega is not happening with this party. Kappa, Omega is not going to be part of this equation. There will be no Omega. There will, that's not, uh, not going to happen with these guys. I think I even have everybody alive. So I'll even get the, um, the fun ending. Or the, the, the ending with everybody around. Wow. I'm like... I can barely, I can barely hold, my, hold my coffee. So, in summary on that X-Death battle, I had to go, I had to gain a couple levels to be able to survive an Almagest with Shell. But now I can't remember it was so that battle was so long. Uh, I don't think he got an Almagest off because I got old to hit. I can't even remember now. I'll have to I'll have to watch the uh, the highlight because I got old to hit and then Shote hit right away. Yeah, so I, I think he didn't even get Almagest off that time. And I don't even, I I'm not. Yeah, so I, the the Meteo thing. <clears throat> I think I remember um, seeing on the on the little notepad file that um, I think it's the front part adds Meteo to its routine when it gets low, but I I can't I, I don't know for sure, and I don't I don't want to go to the notepad because on my it'll, it'll make my emulator stop if I um, if I scroll through my notepad. But I, I think I remember reading that somewhere that that one of them adds Meteo um, to its routine. But yeah, I was I was pretty slow doing damage, and yeah, alternating chicken knife attacks. I should have started that earlier to help get um, Grand Cross down through its cycle. I just 
I just panicked. I didn't know what to do because I didn't have, um, I should have put, put uh, Gaia on him because I wasn't thinking, in my original plan, was to save the back piece for last, so I didn't think I would need him. So I, I wasn't switching the dancer to have um, a way to evenly damage the, the pieces. And then, uh, yeah, not having Libra, because I, I just ne I never use Libra. <laughs> I just never use it. So, like in the early game, when you're kind of cash poor, I just kind of go like, ah, I don't need that. You know, I'll skip that one. So I, I don't, I, I don't know for sure, but I think I remember reading that. That, but I know when you only have one left, that's when it goes into that nasty part. And I've gotten, I've gotten taken out by um, an Almagest that way. Um, by having by having me do the the kill shot on one piece and then before my character can get a turn to finish off the second piece have it do the double attack and the like vacuum wave on the jest although I've, I've also have them done like comet vacuum wave which is about the best you can expect from that um, from that phase just a couple of single target attacks because that medio could have easily taken me out could have done one hit on each character and that would have been the ball game, but thankfully it left one character alive for me to uh, <laughs> bring them back. That was that was the most nuts battle. And that was so crazy, but a great way to finish up this fiesta. I'm even gonna watch the whole ending here because I I almost never watch the whole ending, but I think this one deserves it. I usually don't watch and I usually don't read the. Um, the text back here, so I don't even know what the GBA translation says. I played the SNES one so much. Okay, yeah, uh, which piece is left? Yeah. Well, I've I've, I've never saved the Almagest piece for last, so that's that's for darn sure that I would I never left that piece last. It would always have been, um, I think the last time I did it, I saved the magic piece for last, and it did uh, Vacuum Wave Comet. The magic piece did, the, uh, the back part, before I used Magic Lamp uh, to, to knock it out. Because, um, yeah, the way I did it, I would take out all Majest with something, then focus everything on the Grand Cross piece, then everything on the physical piece, and then just, as soon as the physical was done, Magic Lamp. But if that back part had had done something like Medio or uh, Almagest, it would have that would have been a wipe on me. So that's that's when I kind of I decided I would do the the letting everybody's um, bars fill, and I actually almost screwed it up on this on this one today because I got kind of lazy and I selected attack. <laughs> you learn the hard way that. Um, Medio is not affected by old. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I guess yeah, uh, a derped Almagest piece. If it's got, um, if it, you get it down to just doing 750, and if your characters are high enough to handle um, that kind of damage, that should be okay. That should be okay. I'm just I'm ash I'm ashamed now that I made those safety save states. Because those are going to be... Because I, I didn't think I was going to win. I didn't think I'd have a, a, a shot to win on this on this first one. There was They were just for safety. But now my, my highlight... Yeah, it's an old at Almagest piece. Yeah, and it, just, and it never quite lined up in this run where I got old to land um, and seen what it looked like hitting the shelled... Uh, the shelled character like I needed it to. But uh, hey, having Shoat, having Shoat land was was great. I was just I was worried with Shoat that I was gonna have to just fight the battle, you know, 30 times before I get Shoat to land. But uh, landed on the second shot out of the magic lamp, and it targeted the correct piece, which is nice. Uh, 300 something, yeah. Man, 
Yes, yeah, so on the this last um, series of runs, I've just been doing regular runs, like the last four or so, or the last three maybe, I've just been regular runs, thinking, and I did that thinking that they would be kind of the um, the quickest ones, although I'm, I'm kind of learning, I think Team 750 runs are probably um, a little faster. You can probably beat those a little bit uh, a little bit easier, depending on your party setup. You can get things like like a Time Mage and a Black Mage and a White Mage. If you, if you get that lineup, you're, you're pretty good. I had a nice uh, Team No 750 run earlier where I got a, a Mystic Knight, which... Uh, which was great, having all those uh, physical guys, you know, samurai and ninja, and then a mystic knight to uh, be able to exploit all of those things, all those bosses that you can take out with um, with mystic knight. And it works out nice being able to take out the almages piece in one splash. You go, oh, okay, so you you did three, you registered for four, and then uh, got black mage again. Yeah, I didn't, you know, I didn't mind. I've ended up having, well, you, you do 12. I've done all of the classes, uh, starting classes. I think the only class I haven't got any time in the whole run, um, I have not gotten a ranger yet. In all of my Fiesta runs, I've yet to get a ranger. I've done a bunch of regular ones and a couple of no 750 runs, and I did one classic run. Um, the classic one was, was okay. It was uh, Knight, Red, Black, Black, I think, was my classic run. So that one was uh, a pretty good setup. I didn't have to do too much grinding for that one. But yeah, I've yet to get a Ranger. I was hoping to get one, at least one, in all of my runs. But uh, that didn't happen with this time. You've yet to get four jobs in Wind Crystal, yeah? Wow. Yeah, I can understand why you'd be uh, not wanting to do the same uh, the same starting gauntlet over and over again. Black Thief and Black Thief, yeah. Yeah, some of them uh, really make that first part interesting. You know, White, White Mage really makes for a long um, first chapter. White Mage, like, having to pound on uh, Garula with just one uh, flail. Yeah, blue, blue is great. And actually, I got on my previous run, I got the coveted blue Beastmaster combo on my previous run. That was tons of fun. That was amazing. Um, running through that, the the blue mage and Beastmaster was uh, was a cinch. The Beastmaster wasn't, uh, you know, particularly awesome for a lot of things, but um, getting those blue spells at uh, critical points in the game was nice. I used uh, a thousand needles on lots of bosses. Uh, a lot of early early bosses that, that have resistances to things like Archeo Avis. I just had, I think, I think I had six or seven casts of a uh, thousand needles, and that was the battle. Just boom, 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 and like that was it. A um, couple of other bosses like that where I didn't have a way to uh, get through their resistance or their defense on something. I just default to Thousand Needles. And then when you can get to um, Air 3, Aeroga, uh, and with the Air Knife boosted, you got no problems. You got no problems. Beastmaster can, uh, how can Beastmaster one-shot Dragon Pod? Because that was one that I had ended up using Thousand Needles on. Because uh, I didn't, I didn't have good, a good way to do poison um, damage to, to bring that up. How can Beastmaster, what do they need to catch? I assume it's a, it's a monster catch and release that they can take out um, Dragon Pod and Gilgamesh. Oh, okay. Yep. I'm going to get screenshots of my, um... 
my final steps. Okay, so you can get a, uh, you can get a, a death on him, huh? Ah. Okay, because that's, that's an early, early way to get death. Okay. Yeah, so I guess, sadly, having the blue mage in conjunction with the Beastmaster, um, yeah, no, I, I think I, I know that, that enemy that you're talking about. I think I know that enemy, but yeah, sadly, having the uh, blue mage in the party meant that I didn't really have to, um, I wasn't forced to learn all of the, uh, the animal catch and release combos because I just had an easier alternative. It would have almost been more fun, and I may do this this year sometime between now and the next fiesta, just, uh, go through with a Beastmaster without an easier way to cheese things, um, because I wasn't really forced, you know, if, if I had been stuck with a bad party in a Beastmaster, I would have had to look at the wiki pages and find out what I can do with stuff, or, you know, I didn't have to catch any sand bears. And I know that's kind of, you know, a Beastmaster run is like, sand bears are it. You know, I watched Dragon Dark's, um, Dragon Dark's, uh, race. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I think I saw that uh, the pod can be gravity. I think I've used gravity on it when I've had time ages, maybe, but I didn't, I didn't use missile this time because I just, I just kind of defaulted to a thousand needles. I didn't, um, I didn't even look at it. But I think you're right that it's not heavy. It's weak to a lot of that stuff. But yeah, just because I, in that party, I didn't really have to look things up because I did have the option of things like that. Sand Bear is baby's first Beastmaster. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know uh, those bears are are important when you don't have other ways to damage. But having, you know, once you get, you know, level two old and um, dark, like Dark Shock, level two old, level five death, all those death by math things, or or even just you know derping things like with um with X death. I haven't actually tried to do the the old and then level 5 depth timing thing. I just didn't want to learn that, uh, learn that timing. But once you hit him with old, he just becomes so weak. You know, all of his attacks are way down and his magic doesn't do anything. So he just becomes, you can just kind of plunk him down after that, once you get old to land on him. Because I think in that, in that team I also had a Mystic Knight, so it just was, it was crazy overpowered. And then, yeah, the X-Death fight in the end. I had big guard. Oh, sand crawler, cast hurricane. Okay. And it gets them down into single digits where you can uh, can quickly plunk them out. That'd be a, that'd be a good one. That'd be a good one. Yeah, I can't remember what my crystal battle was like. On, uh, with that team. I remember what it was like with this team. It was long and, and arduous. But uh, I had four flame rings. I had four flame rings uh, with this team. So I was able to uh, get the... I was able to get the top uh, fire part critical so that it was healing me with, um, with fire attacks. 
then I just had to, uh, I had to gain a level or two so that I could survive, um, Aqua Breath from the front one. Uh, just to with, survive it with just a few hit points so that the fire piece would heal me up. And then I could, and then, so I do that with each piece, would plunk them down while the fire one was healing me. Yeah, that's where I got them. And, and with the thief, it's, it's nice, you can set them. I did this in the Karnak Castle Escape, too. When you just camp out in front of that chest, you set one thief to steal, and then the next fastest character to um, flee. And then you just face the chest and hit Turbo A, and you get steal, be steal, flee. So the battles just fight themselves, and you just steal, flee all the way through. So I, I set that, uh, and I set my emulator on fast, and then I went and I watched TV for a while. And then I came back and I had seven flame rings and 50 thunder rods and 99 high potions from uh, from that chest. I know it's a little bit cheesy, but in the Karnak Castle Escape, I did it with elixirs. That's how I got 80 elixirs uh, in the first world, by sitting there in front of a chest with the Gigas enemies and just steal, flee, steal, flee, steal, flee, until there was less than a minute left. I ended up leaving, I think, with 15 seconds left, and I probably could have still fought one more battle. With the 15 extra seconds, I probably still could have fought one more, but I didn't want to get into a random battle on my way out and have that uh, take me down. <sighs> so yeah, but, and that flame rings were nice to be able to sell later, and that's, those are the same flame rings that, that helped me um, get through the first part of the, of the Twintania fight, too. Same ones. So not too bad. So it looks like I'm just under three hours on the stream today. So not so bad on a, on a party like this to uh, get down through the final descent and beat X-Death. All right, I'm going to get my, my screenshots of these guys. There's that one. These are easy to, easy to miss if you're going too fast. So I guess level 26 isn't too bad. I was hoping to uh, show off winning it at 22 or 3, but uh, I guess that's what, that's what we'll have to go for. Low level runs have been kind of my, my MO. Everything besides Geomancer. Yeah. Well, I certainly used um, Wind Slash a lot on that on that last battle. So that's kind of it's kind of a nice default thing you can do. You know, there is that. Yeah, Beastmaster would have been nice for uh, for Mighty Guard and uh, possibly a Breath Wing if I got one mastered and had a couple had a couple of them. So do you have to um, do you have to catch a stingray to do big guard, or is there another monster uh, in World Three that does? So yeah, again, that's something I didn't have to look up because uh, I just learned big guard, so it didn't uh, didn't really bother me. Yeah, big guard just makes all those bosses at the end just so so easy. Oh, it's the Christelle? Okay. So it's a late, late, late game enemy. Yeah, the crystals. Yep, down there in the void. Late, late game enemy. Yeah, <laughs> right on the way. And you don't have to sit there and uh, grind for a, a stingray fight. All right, that's my screenshot. Oh man. Well, when we get to the. Um, Okay, so it just has three hit points, and you have to have the gourd to be able to catch it, huh? So you'd have to get it down to below half health. That would be uh, would be tricky. But anyway, once we get to the, the end screen here, I'm going to uh, 
I'm gonna sign off here. I use Excalibur. Ah, oh, okay. One damage. Nice. That works out. That works out well. Ha! Huh. I'll just keep that in mind. I'm gonna get. The, I'm gonna get this for a screenshot. I'm gonna get a double thumbs up. I'm gonna capture that uh, for for my Facebook page. Well, thank you very much for um, for stopping by and for your help. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it cut it off here soon. So thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your uh, your advice. It <laughs> it's always uh, it's always very helpful. Nice, nice to know that uh, I can rely on on some help. So, <laughs> uh, we'll see you soon.